this will be my review for Spider-Man 2. Truth be told, I never actually played the game. You're probably wondering, how am I going to do a review? Well, my friend played it. And, uh, yeah, he'll give you the review. Also, he doesn't know that. Uh, I'm just always recording, and he just kind of, like, said it. So I'm just going to use his comments as a review, because it's a perspective that I really don't see out there. Uh, yeah, here's this review that I got from my friend without his knowledge. So. By the time you hear the next pop, the folk shall be within you. So people are already 100%ing and platinuming this fucking Spider-Man game in under 20 hours. That's... <clears throat> that in $70. That, that was yeah, a, less than a day. The thing for me with the game is... That, that is this goddamn short. Dude, that Assassin's Creed game. I just beat that today and it took me 30 something hours and I didn't even 100% every. They made that game cheaper because it was a lot shorter. Really? Oh. Yeah, that's why it was 50 bucks. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I so it was like basically 70 bucks. No matter what. They did the, that's what they did with the Miles Morales one. I skipped that. I mean, it was shorter than this because it was more of like a spin off DLC thing, but they still charged you 70 bucks for it. But this is like supposed to be their big main game, and it just feels so goddamn short. I feel like I'm already almost done with the story. I'm like getting towards the end. I kind of I kind of want to play these games, but I remember trying the first one for a little bit. And I'm just like I couldn't get into it. I... It's really good. I like the first one a lot, especially with the story and stuff. Right. But the thing is, they didn't really change anything between the others. Mm. Like Miles Morales is the same exact game as the first one. But you're just playing as Miles instead of Spider-Man. And he has a couple different combos. This game, you're just playing as both of them. And yeah, there's a graphical update because it's on the PS5, so it looks a little prettier. And other than that, you just have like the Venom suit, the black suit, Spider-Man. And that's it. Like it's still the same exact game. There's not really anything. They added well, I forgot the wing suit too, but it's not like when I'm playing it, I still feel like I'm continuing the on with the one. first game, so... Yeah, yeah, so it's still just... You're still in New York City, it's not like they changed anything. <laughs> they I, I added, added a little Brooklyn. bit more, yeah. Yeah, they added Brooklyn. But it's still, like, not that much bigger. And, you know, all just buildings, all the same. But it doesn't help with, uh... Most of the game is cutscenes, too. And a lot of the big boss fights and like big parts are just quick time events and everything. So many missions where you're playing as like random characters or even just you outside of your spider suit and doing shit and not and like those are the most annoying and boring missions ever. Dude, they had you going around like I think I already mentioned the cor like last night the corny conversation when you're yeah, doing yeah. the whole corny island thing. Right. Yeah. They had me doing the thing today where I'm playing as a fucking deaf girl spray painting graffiti on walls. So wait, so you're playing not only as MJ, but as some random other girl? Yep. Wow. Pretty much Miles is MJ. Oh, Miles has an MJ. Makes sense. Yeah. Of course he has an MJ. What's his MJ? Which is, a deaf I forgot chick? her name already, but if, yeah, a deaf girl that does art. Uh, <laughs> Yo, why are they doing them dirty like that? <laughs> Yo, I swear, man. That's why, that's why I don't like that equality bullshit. Because then they do stuff like that. It's like, alright, so so Peter gets this hot piece of ass. And <laughs> this guy is getting this, like, broken bitch. Equality! And you're like, that's not racist? She just can't hear. I'm just saying, dude. It's not. It's, she's not MJ. No, 
Her Dude. name's like Elizabeth or something like that. It's not even anything close to MJ or. No, no. My like point. I, my point is she's not as good as MJ. Because like, it. Oh man, it's just like. Dude, MJ. They made her like fucking snake in this game. When you play as her, she's just sneaking around with a taser, hitting people and shit. Yeah, that's what, that's what I saw. Like people. That's so funny because people like the whole time before this game came out on Twitter, everyone was just like. God, I hope I don't play as MJ. Please don't. I can't. Don't oh, yeah, do it. Got, it got a lot worse because now it's not just MJ. It's yes, like... and now you're telling me there's another person. That's hilarious. And then they do it with Peter out of his suit too. Miles out of his suit. They do it with like everyone out of their suit so much. Mm. And it's all just walking around. Look at this. Press triangle to hear him talk about it. Walk around. Look at this. Press triangle. Like you're not doing anything in those points. Just watching shit. This game is just a lot of watching shit. And it looks pretty. And it looks good. But with the corny dialogue a lot. The story's not that bad, though. I don't know if it's gonna be better than this. I already hate this villain. Who's the villain? Uh, Craven. Oh, Craven yeah, 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 yeah. Craven the Hunter. I mean, I think they're making him gayer. I mean, he's actually a really cool character, but I heard they're making him really lame. That's what I heard at least. Yeah, he seems lame. Like, he's like whole. He doesn't really seem to have like a reason or ambition that's like cool or worth doing with what, what he's doing. Like I mean, like yeah, he just wants to like hunt shit for whatever his fucking reason is and stuff. But the way it's just playing off in the game. Come on! And I don't. I, don't, I just feel like there's not as many like side villains either. Like I feel like I haven't fought a single side villain yet. Where as in the last game, all like the side quests were tied to like different side villains and shit that you had to deal with. So what are you doing with the side? What is the side? Playing as deaf girls, helping oh, gay couples dude. get together at school. Oh Jesus. Saving the environment with some stupid plant shit. Wow. Ah. But hey, dude, you go online on the internet and you can't say anything bad about this game and it's the best thing in the world. God made it himself. Get your cancer. The yes. best thing I can say is it's not, it's not a bad game, it's just disappointing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, 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 so... Ah, cool, 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 cool. So we'll do this. So, on our rating system. <laughs> on, a, on, a, on a scale of 1 to 10, what do you get? <laughs> Honestly? Uh, give me that, spider. If didn't have... Okay. If I didn't have all the bugs that I was dealing with, which is the multiple crashes... Like, Random, like, side crime missions disappearing in front of me as soon as I get at them all the time. Other random graphical bugs and stuff. If I didn't have all of those, I would give it, like, an 8 out of 10, maybe a little bit more. All right, out, like of, said, out of 5. Game. Out of 5. Do 5. Because the reason why I don't do 10 is because no one does under 5 anyways. So what's the fucking point? No, there can be. There has been too. Yeah, but it's usually like a fucking lie. You know what I mean? Like, like an actual lower tier game is like those random tier games in the. No, well, that Lord of the in... Rings Golem game. <laughs> Cyberpunk did too, in a lot of. But cases. okay, okay, but the Lord of the Rings Golem, right? That I could say yes, and that one with the with the ape, sure. But Cyberpunk, no. Had a lot of bugs, I, well, I but to say Lord, game, but. Is... But to say that's lower than five, I don't think so. No, it definitely wasn't. Absolutely not. All right, so you say eight. So in a five term, that's like uh, would you say eight point what? Well, no, I said if it wasn't filled with bugs, I would give it an eight, maybe higher. But it's filled with bugs, and it's I had crashes. Bad. Okay, so would you give it? So I would give it. I would give it like a seven point five. Seven. 
nice. <laughs> right. But who knows, dude? That, that's just my rating at the moment. The story can end up tanking. At the moment, it's like first impressions. All right, that's fine. Yeah. Video is at an hour. It's just not. I just can't get into it like I did with the last. The last one, I was in love with, and I did all the achievements and did everything. And now doing this, it's like continuing off of that, and I'm just like, dear, jeez. It's fun, but it's not that fun. It's very like Re the main thing with me. Yeah, okay. the main thing with me is like all the random crimes that you did in the first game and shit like that are pretty much exactly the same in this game. Like all that random little side stuff that you just do as activities around the game is like exactly the fucking same. Damn. Like oh, there's a bunch of people held hostage here. Beat up all the people. Oh, this car riding through the streets. Jump on top of the car. All the drivers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they had that in the other games. <laughs> yeah, it's all the same. They they had that in the old uh they had that in the old PlayStation Two games. <laughs> the you know jump on top of the car, punch the people yeah. out of the car. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Damn, no wonder they're moving to Wolverine. All right. Well, yeah, that's the thing with Spider-Man. It's like you can't really take him outside of New York City. You can't really. How many games are you gonna keep doing with him? You can't. Now, like, they. Well, you know what their other idea is? Because how they did a spin-off game with Miles Morales. Doing that. They mm -hmm. said they're thinking of doing another spin-off game. They're probably gonna do Venom. That you can take outside of New York City. Oh my God. No. But You're it's wrong. It's gonna be Spider-Man again. No, it's gonna be Gwen. <laughs> It's gonna be no, quiet. Just it up in this game, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, right. Well, actually, I don't know. They can set it up, honestly. I don't think so. I, 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 I just would assume. And that might be Harry. I would just assume that they don't have a girl yet, and there's plenty. There's Gwen, there's that Spanish girl. Uh, there's a oh, few. There, yeah, Spider Girl's a thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, the, it, 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 that's what I could see. They'll probably have like the like, first woman. Spider Girl in this game. I haven't seen her. It's been mentioned. I don't know if I do one of the quests I'm doing. Oh, and that's the other thing, dude. Uh, Black Hat. Yeah. It turned her into a lesbian. No. Like it was. No. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like it's, very it's just very, all that all that woke shit. Damn, bro. That's sad. <laughs>